when I first came to understand my roots, I knew I was Polish, but I didn't know very much after that. We did not live right in the Santa Maria Parish, although my mother and dad were both members of the Santa Maria Parish. They received all their sacraments there and went to Mass there and got married there. My four older uh, siblings, my sister and three brothers, were uh, all baptized there in Santa Maria. But then the children, my, my brothers and sister, began to go to school in the neighborhood where we lived, and so we didn't have that much contact uh, with Panama Maria and uh, its uh, culture. So when I was working in the poverty program after being the youth director here in the Archdiocese of San Antonio, uh, I got involved in a federal program for youth, uh, impoverished youth. And the impoverished youth of San Antonio here in Texas at, at that time were mainly the Mexican uh, youth and the black youth. And so what happened was one day I said, you know, I know all about how the poor people from Mexico and the black people, I know all about their history, but I don't know anything about my Polish culture. And so I had an opportunity to go to school in Poland two summers. In 1971 at the Jagiellonian through the Kosciuszko Foundation of New York City. And in the following year, I went to Poznań to the University of Adam Mickiewicz and I went with the University of Kansas. The first semester, the first summer, uh, 1971, was six weeks. The second one, 1972, was eight weeks. I got so excited about trying to find my roots. I knew it was in Poland, of course, but I knew also it was in Silesia, but where? And so we finally found this thanks to uh, the good help of Professor Andrzej Brozik from the uh, city of, um, um, I'm trying to think of the name, uh, of the big Silesian city uh, in Poland. Right now, my Katowice is the name, I'm sorry. I'm getting old, huh? Ja jestem bardzo starym. Ale głowa dobra. Nie zawsze, ale um, prawie. Huh? He, uh, then I organized a trip in 1973, and there were 54 of us from Texas that went to uh, Poland, and we stayed in the villages. And so we went to visit those areas where my people came from, like... Uh, Puznica, and Kosice, Kaneja, Zembowice, Radavie, Dobrodzian, Olesno, and many of the little villages in between. And um, so I had a dream that someday uh, we would be able to uh, bring in more priests and sisters from Poland and particularly uh, from that area to help us to make sure that the culture of Silesia and Poland did not die out here in Texas. For instance, on the ranch, mom and dad would speak to us in Poślonsku and we answered back in English. And before you know it, my sister who did not speak English when she went to the first grade, only Polish, uh, we went the other way and Americanized, unfortunately. So that's why I went back to Poland and the conversion that I had I, and experience, I want others uh, to, to have that joy 
of, uh, of knowing where they came from and what are our roots and the beautiful land that our people came from. They were suffering from oppression, but when they got to Panna Maria, they suffered from the reality of undeveloped land. No stores, nothing, uh, not even houses. And so for a while, they dug holes in the ground to protect themselves from the rather bitter wind that, and rain uh, in South Texas. And so I am glad that you all have now an exhibit in Poland, in Silesia, that is uh, traveling. That saddle, of course, comes from, um, I rode that saddle on the ranch. Uh, we were farmers in the beginning, like everybody that came from uh, Silesia, but we gradually switched to being ranchers, just, just cattle, mainly. And uh, so, thank you all for visiting the exhibit there in Poland, the present and the past of Silesia. We're doing the same thing, in a, but we're narrowing our interest to the Panamaria immigrants, what preceded them, uh, beginning with words of Jesus, go and make disciples of all the nations, Cyril and Methodius, and the baptism of Mieszko, and uh, the Catholicism uh, that they had, that they brought, the first bishop of Texas, went to um, Silesia uh, looking for priests to help him with the German Catholics that were already here in Texas, in places called New Braunfels, Fredericksburg, uh, Castroville, Dickens, and Quiki. And so he wrote to his four brothers, I already bought land for you near the, my parish here in New Braunfels. New Braunfels, and that's really a German place. And so it happened that uh, not only did those four brothers came, but approximately uh, 100 families came. And... Uh, Thank God my people were in that first group. My mother's side and my daddy's side came a year later. And so Panna Maria was founded. When those people came, they went to this place that was undeveloped. And Father Machigamba named it after the Virgin Mary, Panna Maria. And so God bless all of you for what you're doing. Please come to Texas. We'll be ready probably in another two or three years before we're ready to open up the doors. This is going to be a heritage center called Panamaria Maria Heritage Center. It is a memorial tribute to the uh, Silesian Polish immigrants and these are our ancestors and we're proud of them. I, too, am very proud to be uh, Silesian and Polish. May God bless all of you. Come to Texas.